Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the crime of manslaughter. Now in Arizona, manslaughter is defined as recklessly or intentionally or knowingly in the heat of passion or a sudden quarrel uh, with adequate pro provocation from the alleged victim killing them. That's what's known as manslaughter. But you also can be charged with manslaughter if you get into a DUI accident and you kill somebody. Then they're going to look at recklessness, which is disregarding a substantial and unjustifiable risk or circumstances, which is a gross deviation of the standard of conduct that a reasonable person would observe in the same situation. That means you're hammered and you go driving home. A reasonable person, they're going to say, would not have done that, and um, therefore there's an accident and somebody was killed. So the most common time you see manslaughter charges are usually with DUI deaths, um, and it's overcharged a lot. A lot of times it really should just be negligent homicide. Well, what's the difference? Here's the difference. Punishment for manslaughter, if you have no prior convictions, is seven years minimum, 10.5 presumptive, 21 years is the max. Okay, that's a huge range. Policy offer at the county attorney's office is 10 to 12 years. Now, you can do 85% of the time, 15% off for good behavior. So seven years drops to six, and then with early kickout, you can actually be out in about five and a half years. But if you're charged with negligent homicide, that's four years, six years, or eight years, 85%. So four years really becomes about just over three years. So that's a huge difference, five and a half years or 3.3 years, big difference. Now, the defenses to a manslaughter, supervening cause. What's that mean? Well, that means you may have been drunk. For example, I'm drunk, I'm at a red light, I'm waiting for the light to change, a motorcycle comes up behind me, hits the back of my car, flips over and dies. I did not cause that death at all. Yes, I'm a DUI, but I'm not guilty of homicide. Supervening cause. Um, you're in a fight with somebody, and that person is, is fighting with you, and they start cursing at you, and they step backwards and get hit by a car. Again, not your fault. Or you're in a fight, and that person's sent to the hospital. Then the ambulance gets hit by a, a car. Or they get an infection in the hospital that's not reasonably foreseeable. That's a supervening cause. We also argue self-defense. Which, uh, goes without saying. Um, we also argue that it was not a reckless act or a gross deviation from the standard of care. We bring in experts, crime scene reconstruction, human factors experts. That means how long does it take you to hit the brakes? Let's say somebody's driving 100 miles per hour and they're at what's called ambush velocity. And although you may have been drinking and driving, nobody could stop in time to avoid that accident. Um, we have ballistics experts, tool mark experts, blood spatter, DNA, gunshot residue. We also attack Miranda rights violations or denial of right to counsel. There's so many different um, attacks to defend a manslaughter case, you'd be amazed. Now, if you go to our website, dmcantor.com, and you can either go to vehicular homicides, if this is a vehicular case, or the regular homicide section, both have manslaughter. You can see that we've won numerous cases in our victories page. You'll see that we've done blood alcohol challenges, uh, evidence spoilization, uh, what we call SDM, or black box challenges. SDM is statistical and diagnostical module. That's a black box in your car that tracks your data. We have some of the best experts. Look at our victories. You'll see that we have over 20, a sampling of over 20 20 homicide victories uh, that are in there. Um, if you look at our overall victories for the firm, we have over 3,000 victories of all different types. Everything from complete acquittals at jury trial, by the way, over 130 times we've gotten every charge found not guilty at jury trial. Partial acquittals, dismissals, hundreds of dismissals, they're all there. So give us a call if you or your loved one have been charged with manslaughter. It won't cost you anything to meet with us, but it'll take about an hour of your time. We'll look at everything to find a way out of this, either factually or technically. So I'm looking forward to hear from, hearing from you soon. Take care.